Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so you'll be informed every time I upload a new DIY video. Today I am doing a home decor DIY farmhouse style using these items. A large frame I got at a thrift store, an embroidery hoop, some dark wood looking contact paper from Dollar Tree along with a foam poster board from Dollar Tree. And you can use any um, florals. This is just a variety of some of my Dollar Tree florals, along with a piece from a canvas bag. To start out, I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the light gray color mineral, and I'm going to give this frame a couple coats. I want it to look rustic, so I'm not going to worry about it being perfectly covered. So this frame is a little large. The opening is 16 inches by 20 inches. So the frame itself measures about 20 inches by 24 inches. This is one thing I always keep my eyes out for at garage sales and thrift stores because I love repurposing old frames, especially really good quality wood ones with a lot of detailing like you can see on this one. They just look really great when you chalk paint them and then distress them a little bit. And now I'm just taking some medium grit sandpaper that you can get at the Dollar Tree in the automotive section and just giving a light sanding just to bring out some of the detailing on the frame. Next I'm taking this inside hoop from an embroidery hoop and I'm just going to darken it up a little with the antique wax from Waverly. This is a dark walnut color. Um, I'm just applying a little bit at a time with the paper towel and then rubbing it in. Thanks so much again for joining me for this DIY. I know it's not Easter or necessarily spring, but it's something that was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest, and I was really excited to try it using thrift store and Dollar Tree items. So I hope you love how it turned out. I went ahead and used that same sandpaper, some spots that got a little darker than I wanted and just sanded some away. This canvas was actually the last item I was looking for to finish this project. I had looked at hobby stores and craft stores for canvas like this on rolls and I could not find it. I went to a conference and was given this natural plain canvas tote bag. So I decided to repurpose it to create this project. Here I'm just drawing a couple of lines so I can make my piece of canvas be as straight as possible. I think I ended up making it about three and a half inches wide. Thank you. 
So once I have my piece long enough that it will go across the hoop and wrap around, I'm taking my fine tip black painter's marker and I'm tracing, because I can see through the canvas, this word home. I just, like I've done in previous DIY videos, just found a script of the word I was looking for on Google search and then saved it and took it over into Microsoft Word and made it as large as I wanted it. So I'm just tracing it, like I said, through the canvas and then I will fill in the word. And this will be um, going across the middle of the hoop in my completed project. Here I'm just centering the word and then I'm going to wrap it around and hot glue it to my embroidery hoop. I will say if you can't find any of these hoops at um, any thrift stores or garage sales, I have seen them at Hobby Lobby. And they do come with two pieces, so I think you could take them apart and use them for two different projects if you wanted to. Next, I'm measuring the opening in my frame so I can cut my foam board to fit inside. And it is 16 inches by 20. Now this foam board is already 20 inches on one length, so I just needed to cut the 16 inch length and then it will fit perfectly inside my frame. Okay, so now that I have my foam board the right length, I'm taking some of this dark wood looking contact paper from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cover one side of my foam board completely. I'm smoothing it out as I unroll it and my plan is that it will just look like a wood board on the back of my frame. I wanted to wrap this around um, and I wasn't too concerned about how nice it looked on the back since this will be against the wall. I just wrapped the two ends almost like a present, cut the corners out and then wrapped the long sides. And next, I'm just going to hot glue this in so that it stays secured to the frame. And voila, here's our frame now with our contact paper wood background. Next, I'm going back to my hoop with the home word. And I decided I just wanted to do greenery on this, not add any color per se. I wanted to keep it pretty neutral. I have these ferns from Dollar Tree. And you'll see here soon, they have two different colors. And I'm just going to use the lighter green. And those other florals were also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to arrange these and then hot glue them one on each side going back and forth until I get the look that I want.
Now this other greenery I'm using, I used in a couple other of my DIYs. If you haven't seen those yet, I'll go ahead and link those in the description box below. But I really like them. They're plastic, but they're a different type of leaf. So let me know what you guys think about the greenery that I used on this project. I don't know why I had to show you this part, but I'm just adding two um, little hangers to the back of my frame so that I can hang this on the wall. You'll notice I had a little trouble on the second one because the nail was so tiny. And then finally I realized, duh, I can use some pliers to hold the nail. So there you go, live and learn. And the last step now is just to put these two pieces together, the frame with the board and the hoop with the home and greenery. I'm using some of this burlap and lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree to hang the hoop and then attach it to the back of the frame so it's free hanging in the middle. And here's what it looks like laying on my table. What do you guys think about this? I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, I'm really excited with how this turned out. I hope you like it too. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.